there, Rectech family, Chef Greg with you. Today we're doing a crown roast of pork, beautiful uh, 10 bone pork loin. And I had the butcher on the bandsaw remove that chime bone and make sure when they are doing that for you that they also remove those little coins. They're like little uh, pieces of bone that look like the size of quarters or so. Make sure they remove those so it's nice and smooth on the back. All right, we've got our crown roasts good and Frenched, and now is the time. Um, if you're gonna brine, I would recommend brining uh, and or seasoning. So we're gonna keep it pretty easy. We're gonna use some heifer dust. You could use some fresh herbs, salt, pepper, garlic. It's really up to you. We're going to kind of marry these together. So we're gonna use a couple, a couple cheats here. So I have a butcher's needle, okay, and some twine. And what we're going to do is we are going to tie these together in a fashion that is really easy to do. So just like sewing on a button, we'll come into here and we're actually going to go up underneath that first bone in through that second one to get a really good secure knot. Again, these are things you can ask the butcher to do. Now we'll do another knot a little further back and deeper to get some good uh, meat penetration there, but we're not going to cut it, um, we're not going to tie it so close together that when we tie it taut it could rip. So go about two inches or so back and about two inches or so forward, tie that bad boy up. And when he cooks he is going nowhere. Now this next part you might need an extra set of hands. So what we're going to do is we're going to tie together so it is nice and round like a crown, okay? And I didn't have to score any of the bones sometimes. You see the butcher, they make big deep gashes in the meat. If you see that, please do not buy that piece of meat. It's going to end up really dry. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use the weight of that pork and I'm going to go ahead and do that same knot here at the top and then again at the bottom. So there you have your crown roast of pork, looking beautiful. So what we're going to do is we're going to cook this bad boy at 325 for about 90 minutes or so. We're looking for an internal of 140 degrees. We'll see you at the Rectech. All right, so our crown roast of pork is done and it is fantastic. So to recap, we let this go at 225. It took about two hours and 20 minutes or so. Uh, we cooked it to an internal of 140 degrees. We let it rest for about 35, 40 minutes. It's still good and hot. And the beauty of crown roast is it does the portioning for you. So you'll take your knife and slice in between the bones and you'll get a perfect chop. So there you have it. Succulent crown roast of pork. Nice smoke ring. We seasoned it up pretty simple with the heifer dust. Pretty stupid delicious. Rectech does all the work.